After two long years, finally, the decision on Stargate looks like it's been made. Welcome to SciTrek, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Now, on the side channel, I did a video um, just Saturday gone about this rumour. And in that video, I said, this is almost certainly not true, that this is so unlikely. I just, I just don't believe it. But between that video being recorded and it going live on um, the Saturday morning, I got another message from one of my sources repeating the same rumor, then a third. So I contacted somebody I know really well and asked them to ask around for me. He came back to me 12 hours later with the message, yes, the rumor looks like it's true. But what am I talking about? Now, if you saw the live video on Sunday, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But in this video, I'm going to try to be very specific and very clear. I want no confusion because I have had, I have had a few questions bounce around. And what about this? What about that? So I'm going to try to be really as clear as I can be. Um, I'm going to tell you that this is very exciting news but it's not the whole story and it's not the full green light that some people are really waiting for. So what is the rumor? Okay, so Jennifer Salke is the head of MGM Studio and Amazon Studios. March 1st, they hired a head of movies for Amazon and MGM. That lady is Courtney Valentini. Now, we have been waiting for that for a long time. I've talked about that in a million different videos that loads and loads of projects were basically on hold because they didn't have a chief executive in charge of movies. Now, why would they wait? Basically, it take two years to get a movie from development to the actual screen. That's a long time. And if you have an executive that isn't really passionate about a project in charge during that period, it can make things very difficult. So, they do not want to announce any major projects until that manager was in place. Now that executive is in place, they can get started. And Jennifer Salke, on Monday just gone, did send a directive to um, Miss Valentini. That directive basically covered several projects. It was talking about Legally Blonde. It talked about James Bond. It talked about um, a Exorcist reboot and a couple of other things. That directive seemed to be, OK, these projects need to be back on track now. I want this done by this time. Let's crack on. But what did the directive say about Stargate? Well, according to my sources, it said that by the end of this year, preferably by autumn time, end of summer, autumn. But by the end of this year, we expect filming to have started. We would like a cinematic release by the end of 2024, early 2025. So just to reiterate a cinematic release of from the Stargate franchise. So the first thing I asked, will this be within canon? Now, we don't know for sure because we don't know what Claudia Valentini is going to do. In lots of ways, we are looking at a clean slate for this project. Now, we have had loads of development done building up to this point. We've had loads of conversations. We have had conversations with Penguin and a Parker. And Penguin and Parker look like they have started to do some of the development work, or at least putting some ideas together for what they would like to do with the Stargate franchise. I am told that it is Penguin and Parker that have spoken very unofficially to two or three actors, including Robert Carlyle, David Blue, Demand Tapping potentially, um, and uh, Michael Shanks. Also, it is through Penguin and a Parker, that Miles Teller has been very, again, unofficially approached about potentially leading the Stargate franchise. All of these actors, though, that have been approached, again, it's very unofficial. It's a, if we were to do this, would you like to? Now, Penguin and a Parker have been doing that because they've been trying to figure out where they want to take the Stargate franchise. And knowing what actors would potentially be willing to appear in that franchise is really important for them to actually do the work. They cannot do a series based around Amanda Tapping, Samantha Carter, if Amanda Tapping turns around and says, I'm not doing it. So they have to send out some of these feelers. 
even well before anything is official, just to get an idea on who might be willing to return. Now, I get to hear about this news because I have certain contacts in and around agencies that are big in Hollywood. But that doesn't mean that these actors will ever actually appear in any franchise. It just means exactly what I've said, that they've been sounded out about whether they would like to return. I'm also told that this will be an SG-1 revival. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily mean all of the actors from SG-1 are going to return. It means that the movies and the franchise, etc., etc., will potentially be called SG-1 and will be based around the SG-1 team going through gates, doing like that. The actors that they've approached, though, are seem to be from across the board. Now, there's definitely been focusing on SGU, but also some SG-1 characters. I would also love to see some Stargate Atlantis characters return. If Joe Flanagan doesn't come back to Stargate, I don't know what we're doing. So it does seem that the plan or the idea at the moment that Penguin and the Parker have is to cherry pick their favourite actors from across all three series and put them into a new series based roughly around the formula of SG-1. So does that mean we're about to get a green light for a Stargate movie? No, probably not. But it will be reasonably soon. What this does mean is that they've made the decision that they're going to go with a movie. Now, I know that Penguin and Parker has been doing a lot of the preliminary work on what they would like to do with Stargate. They have been trying to figure out where they're going to start how they're going to develop, what the end game is, and what sort of um, format it would be. But Amazon hadn't decided whether it was going to be a movie or a series. And that was a big problem for Penguin and Parker. And one of the reasons why uh, Mark Fergus actually is refusing at the moment to continue negotiations. Now, there were several negotiations between Mark Fergus from Penguin and Parker and Amazon at Christmas, but they kind of broke down, um, partly because they ran out of time before the Christmas holidays, partly because there were some disagreements on budget, but also partly because Mark Fergus just basically said, look, am I doing a film or a series? Am I doing both? What am I doing? And Amazon hadn't decided. Now they have. So again, this is partly because of that. They need to get all their ducks in a row. They need to actually make that first decision. What are we doing? Now, Courtney Valentino has to go away and figure out a few more details about what are they doing. We need a production company. We need maybe a couple of actors to have signed up. They need something that when they announce it, it's more than just, oh, we're doing Stargate. Amazon don't work like that. They don't announce anything until, one, they absolutely have to, and two, they've actually got something to say. So at what point will this be greenlit? It'll be greenlit when a budget is agreed, when an actor is agreed, when the production companies are all agreed, all the contracts are signed, and when Amazon have absolutely no other choice but do it. That's when this will get greenlit, and that's when this will get announced. And then the chances are filming will start within a couple of months of that point. So I'm not going to be getting worried until I haven't heard anything until June or July. Then I would expect to hear something. But guys, this is the decision we've been waiting for. This is the decision Penguin and Parker have been waiting for. There's still a long way to go. And I know how frustrating this is. But we've had delays upon delays because they're doing a movie rather than a series. In lots of ways, I just wish they would do a series. Please go back and watch our live video from Sunday. I think we would all agree we'd probably prefer a series. We would probably prefer it safer and it's probably easier. But they have all of this money from Amazon to make so many cinematic releases a year. And Jennifer Salke has obviously decided that some of that money should be allocated to Stargate. It's very much a manager's decision, but at least it's the start of something. It's the decision we've been waiting on and it's been made. So we can now buckle up and we can start looking forward to the future. This is the end of the beginning and the start of an exciting new Stargate franchise future. Guys, get into the comments, go tell me exactly what you think. Did you watch the live show? We bounce this idea around a lot. What sort of movie would you like to see? What sort of franchise would you like to see that would hopefully come after that movie? Do you really think a movie is a good idea or would you prefer a television series? Get into the comments. Tell me exactly what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. And you'll never miss any of our new videos like this. 
Also, please go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where you can actually see most of our videos first. And for a small fee, you can watch them before everybody else on YouTube and without the adverts. Please, as always, stay safe and start looking forward to a Stargate future. I'll see you next time.